In the last video, we looked at the general debugging process. In this video, I want to show you the different buttons and functions of the debugger. There are two ways to access these functions. You can use the graphical buttons in the editor, or you can enter commands in the command window. These can be used interchangeably, and it's up to you which way you prefer. Let's switch over to MATLAB. I'm going to use our example of the logic error here, and just create a breakpoint on line one. And now I'll run the code to enter debugging mode. Okay, let's have a look at the buttons up here. We're already familiar with the step button. All it does is executes the code on the current line and moves the arrow to the next line. Now, instead of clicking on the button, you can do the same thing by typing out the command db step db step in the command window. The so db here stands for debugger and step refers to the step function. When I hit enter, you see that MATLAB has now run the next few lines and has now stopped on line six. Okay, let me just restart the debugging here. Now the next button that you should know is the continue button. The continue button will continue code execution until it comes to the end of the file or another breakpoint. To show you what I mean, let's just click on the button. And we can see that the code has continued to run to the end of the file and it didn't stop anywhere else because we only have one breakpoint in the code. So let me set a second breakpoint on line six. Okay, now let me run the code again. And this time when I click continue, you'll see that MATLAB has run the first few lines and has now stopped on line six, where the second breakpoint is. So this can be a really useful way to jump between points in your code that you want to test. Okay, let me just restart the debugger again. Now, just the same as before, instead of clicking on the button, you can enter a command in the command window. And in this case, the command is dbcont with db continue. Okay, now the last command that you might find useful is the quit debugging command. So clicking on this button will stop the debugger and return you back to the normal MATLAB command prompt. Now let me run the code again. Now again, you can quit the debugging mode in the command window by typing in the function dbquit or dbquit. Now you can mix and match these commands. So perhaps you could click on step here and then type in db step if you want. It's up to you, they're equivalent. You should use whichever way you find most convenient. Now, one last thing I'd like to show you. Imagine that you now have multiple breakpoints in your code and you want to clear them all at once. You can right click on any of these breakpoints and select clear all breakpoints. And now you can run your code to test it. Okay, so here's a quick summary of the three keyboard debugging commands that we have covered db step tells MATLAB to run the current line and move the arrow to the next. db cont tells MATLAB to continue running the rest of the script and db quit quits the debugger.